hey royalty hey i'm first hey i'm princess how are y'all doing today this video is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising venus and north node if you are new here welcome thank you so much for joining me on my channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe y'all first things first i'm gonna have one youtube page and one instagram page don't get scammed you can only book a personal reading with me using my website which will be listed down below in the description box i pray you're having a beautiful and blessed day i pray you're having a beautiful and blessed week my father god continue to cover you bless you keep you safe all days always i am sending you so much peace love and healing energy capricorn and i pray you have a beautiful and fun filled weekend let's begin <clears throat> angels ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael holy spirit please come down and protect me guide me and keep me safe and please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. Where are the messages today for Capricorn? Sun and Rising Venus and North Mount. Okay. <laughs> Bothering me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Capricorn. Sun and Rising Venus and North Mount. What does Capricorn need to know? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. I don't know. I'm like, I hope I didn't roll the couch over her toy, okay? Because I see her looking, and I know her toy is in here, but I kind of, I hope I didn't. You see, she's like right here. Like, I hope she's, hey, baby, I hope she's not looking for her toy. I may have to, I don't know. I think it's over there, though. It, it may be under the couch. I'm sorry, Nat. I don't know where it is, and I just started the reading. Hopefully, you can find it. <clears throat> I think that's what she's looking for right now. So, you guys are stepping into a leadership position. So, congratulations. Congratulations. This is also you taking a leadership role in your life, Capricorn. Okay? With the bear energy, the polar bear, that lets me know Father God is helping you. Father God is giving you a lift up in some way, shape, or form. This could have to do with the stressful situation. This could have to do with something that you may not have had all the answers to. This could also have to do with something that you were in the dark with. Okay, and Father God is getting ready to shine light. Father God is getting ready to shine light upon your life. I told you. <laughs> I could feel it. I felt it. She's like, where is it? I got to find it. <laughs> like, I need it right now. That's what it was looking like. Okay. And I was sensing but i love that <laughs> confirmation but father god is giving you a leg up right now father god is helping you father god is definitely present ever present in your life at this time this is this bear energy this is father god coming through and saying what you thought i forgot about you cat i ain't never forget about you capricorn like that <laughs> something could also be happening and it's gonna feel like a, a bright light in your life because i'm looking at this star i wanted to say it was the moon but it's not it's a shining star you guys could be catching a shining star or a shooting star it could be significant or this is also like your spiritual team saying it's time for you to make a wish because your wish is getting ready to be granted okay anything else and i'll take that up anything else that <laughs> Travis, i need to know from this deck all you need to know is happiness is coming happiness is yours you're getting ready to be extremely happy you're getting ready to be extremely fulfilled you're getting ready to be extremely satisfied okay there is a blessing that is coming your way at the bottom of the deck pleasure all right now that lets me know somebody here y'all getting ready to get some intimacy or you getting in a connection with somebody and it's going to feel very pleasurable all right now this is also pleasurable moments taking place in your life so i see this here too okay all right now <laughs> happiness is yours you're mating with someone and i cannot remember capricorn who um who got this i can't remember i can't remember who got the happiness like who else remember. i think it may have been gemini i think it may have been gemini like you could be connecting to a gemini you could have this in your birth chart, okay? But it's something about happiness is coming in or get ready for happier days that are on the horizon. Ooh, okay, ooh, all right, Capricorn. So 
you can have Scorpio in your birth chart, or you about to connect to a Scorpio, and y'all gonna be a power couple. Okay, you about, you guys, you gonna take over. Okay, so for someone here, if you talking to a Scorpio, this Scorpio ain't about to play about you. Don't you play with this Scorpio, okay? But the guy is sending in someone because they on your same vibration, they're on your same level, they're on your same frequency. Don't you mess up what Father God is trying to bring in to bless you with, okay? So I'm just being for real. For someone here, you getting ready to be in a power couple. This is a marriage. This is a power dynamic, a partnership, a connection with a Scorpio, okay? This could even be with a Pisces, all right? I'm seeing this here too. Oh, okay, no, be mindful of a Pisces, okay? If you talking to a Pisces, this person may be trying to show you fake support. Yeah, okay. And spirit needs to say you need to be over it. Somebody here is trying to ride your coattail. It could be a Pisces, okay? If you're talking to a Pisces, you may need to deeply reflect on that connection. And if this person is the real deal, because it's not looking like they are. Okay, you got a Virgo in your energy too, Capricorn. And this person is in deep thought over you. You could be in deep thought over a, a Virgo at this time. Okay, so there's a Virgo that could have wanted the best of both worlds with you. Somebody here wanted to have their cake and they wanted to eat it too. They wanted to have a wife or husband at home, but they still wanted to have holes and people and guys on the side that they were playing around with. Okay, and Spirit's like, that's a no, because you give off this loyal energy. Somebody here could be realizing this now, that you were loyal to them or that they should have been loyal to you. Yeah, they in heartbreak over it. So a Virgo is heartbroken over you because they should have, they knew better and they should have did better and they didn't. Ooh, oh my goodness. Wow. This came out in the reverse. Yeah, you need to be mindful. If you, if you stay or you get with a karmic partner, okay, for some, this could be a Taurus. If you are connecting to a Taurus, if you with this person, Spirit is saying, not only do you need to weigh out your options and really, you know, reflect over that connection, but somebody here wants to put you in the empress in the reverse energy. This is a karmic individual. Somebody here wants to play on your self-esteem, your confidence, your faith, your spirituality, how you love yourself. This is someone that wants to diminish you in different ways. Specifically, if this is a tour, so they have this highly aspected, okay? Spirit is saying it's time to let go of this because it came out in the reverse. Somebody could have been staying around or only with you because of they wanted to seduce you. They could have been using lust, sex, temptation, greed, whatever this is. They had tainted love or well, they have tainted love, and this is a warning, okay? This is very specific, so yeah you also have to you could be magnetically attracted to a gemini okay that was the first energy that i saw so if you are thinking about dating a gemini or if you have a gemini around or this is in your birth chart okay you could be getting ready to get into some type of magnetic attraction with this person you also have an aries that's in your energy too if you if you are connecting to an aries okay i do see here a fruitful union so take what resonates, okay? This message, these messages could be very specific. Just for one person, because the signs were popping out for you guys, and I kind of like that. It's very specific. Spirit's not playing with you, okay? Overall, the message is love yourself first, because for some reason, I'm picking up on you guys are being highly sought after, all right? I could be wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> you guys are being highly sought after. It's like hot commodity energy. People want to know who you are, Capricorn. They want to be in your energy. And for some, you intimidate people to the point where they want to diminish you. And they hope that you don't know your worth. Because that empress in the reverse is not okay to me. Like, I don't like how someone would even try to, to do that. I don't understand why people do that. They're so threatened. This is complete, like, dimming of your light energy. And if you don't really... If you don't really trust in your intuition or you feel like you're overthinking in regards to certain partnerships or people, or you feel like people do have your best interest at heart, you really need to look inward, okay, and really reflect. Are you doing, are you trying to appease the masses or keep people around because you're scared of being alone? Or do these people really have your best interest? Because it's looking like not everybody around you has your best interest, Capricorn, okay? 
I'm, I'm just being honest. Different things are going to come to the light. Things that you may not want to see, things that may, you may not want to address, but things that you need to. Okay, there's a decision that needs to be made. Someone here could smoke. Okay, you could also be needing to regulate a situation because I'm telling you, you have a lot of people that want to betray you. And they're saying it's time that you assert yourself. Aries energy is here. Yeah, you have good news that's coming towards you, Capricorn. It's all about what you are focusing on. But this comes in after endings take place. Scorpio energy. Gemini is here with Tupac. I don't know what sign um, Lauren London is and Nipsey is. And I need to find out. Maybe y'all know. Okay, this is also Pisces energy coming through. But I'm definitely seeing it doesn't matter what the sign is. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Spirit is saying you have the confidence. You have the strength to... to to embrace this ending because this ending will bring about a new beginning for you. Something needs to be eliminated. Something needs to be wrapped up within your life. Okay, let's jump to the next one. Yeah, there's definitely a sacrifice that is needed. Something that you need to let go of or release that doesn't align with you. And it's focusing on you going inward to reflect on what that is or even if you want to give it up or not. Okay, it's definitely a choice, but there's definitely energies that want to hold you back in hopes that they could play on your heartstrings or your mental or that you're not going to have the confidence or strength to let go or move forward, okay? Because there's something about how there are certain people in your energy that are only supposed to be there for a season. They are lessons. They're not supposed to be roots. They not, they're not roots. They're, they're not even branches. They're the little leaves on the tree that fall off after the season is over. It's kind of like keeping spoiled milk in your fridge, okay, just to say you got milk. But you can't drink it, you can't use it. It's like keeping people around you that you know you can't trust or you got to look over your shoulder with. But just to say you got people around you, you appeasing. Spirit's like, what is, Spirit's like, what is, uh-uh, what's up with that? No. Okay, yeah, this could even have to do with uh, an Aries or a Taurus, Capricorn. Your child's father or your father. Okay, what else is going on here? What does Capricorn need to know? Or you could be in the energy of needing to lay down law for your foundation. You have a spiritual partnership that's coming towards you, Capricorn. I'm telling you, spirit wants you to choose the right energy. Okay, I'm just being honest. And it starts with you staying focused on what's important, what aligns with you and your highest good. Yeah, someone here, you could be moving too fast. You could be needing to drink some more water, okay? Water could be significant. Getting by water could be significant. Water sign energy could be significant, okay? But someone here could also be pregnant. Congratulations if you are getting ready to, you know, give birth. <laughs> you have here a blessing that's here, okay? There's definitely different things that's happening outside of you as well. Spirit is saying, just trust what's happening. Yeah, be mindful of literally. It's like, Father God is like, listen, you have a spiritual partnership that's coming, but the devil wants to put you in a connection, a relationship with his child. Somewhere where there will be abuse, cheating, lies, manipulation, thievery, okay? So you need to be mindful. You have options here, but this is like a choice. These people represent different pathways within your life. Okay, literally, I don't know why people, and I don't see it like that, but it's really the truth. <laughs> Whoever you choose to yoke with, who, especially this year and the year of eight, that's the infinity symbol. What comes in is, is it's no way in and no way out. Whoever you lock in with, it's going to be locked in. Okay, that's just what it's going to be. So if you lock in with somebody, Meaning if you are connecting and yoking your energy with somebody that is karmic or that's going through bad karma, that's what you are accepting into your life. And Father God is going to say, okay, that's the pathway. It comes with these challenges or these lessons or it comes with this. That's just what it's going to be. So it's really important for you to make the right decision, especially in regards to intimate relationships at this time, Capricorn, four, four, four on the timer. And also in regards to overall platonic relationships just the people that you are choosing to have in your energy okay because you have unparalleled that fear the devil's trying to get you in an unparalleled connection while father god wants you in a spiritual partnership for someone here you could be same sex doesn't have to be because it's two women in this card 
okay, or this could just be you are, you know, balancing with yourself. Someone here could be a twin. I'm seeing that here too. Or you could be talking to your mother or your father about this, like about a relationship and getting advice from an elder in regards to what to do. Spirit also may align you, you know, with someone that is very close to their parent, okay, with spiritual partnership being here. So you're a messenger. This has to do with you speaking your truth and speaking out. You being your authentic self is going to guide you forward. The chariot is going to help you overcome these trials and certain tribulations that are coming in during this time, certain test. Okay. One, two, three could be significant. Three, two, one, that angel number. Also, this is your path to alignment with the number seven. Be mindful of what is trying to align with you because Father God is letting you know changes here with the number five. This is happening now in May. And with the higher fine being here, you could be connected to a Taurus, or this has to do with a major life lesson, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, you have people that are trying to mirror you. Mirror effect to that earth energy. You have people that want to mirror your energy because you are ooh, because you are in a place of success. You people are like, ooh, what energy is that? Y'all see that? What is going on here? <laughs> because you are in a place. Of success, the energy is. Oh, I'm telling you. The six of wands. You're in a place of complete success. Accolades. Did I put the deck right? Yeah, and your vision is clear. It's because somebody's going through judgment right now. So you you be mindful of the energy that I'm telling you. There's energy that's pissed off that you are successful, or you're winning. Okay, and that you've closed out certain cycles with the world card. Okay, or you've learned the lesson. Now you're being crowned. Definitely Gemini energy, but you have people that are under judgment. My goodness, and they need to pray. They need forgiveness, repentance. I'm telling you, whatever energy is, it's like upset. Because they know. Of course. Well, of course, right? Of course. It's saying, yeah, you know I'm upset. You know who I am too, devil energy. Okay, if this isn't you, Capricorn, but I'm picking up one devil energy is making itself known. Like, yeah, it's pissed. Okay, especially with the deck flying out like that. What the fuck's wrong with you? Like, it's... Ew, we don't need to know that you mad. We already know. Like, my angels and ancestors, like, the devil's pissed at you, Capricorn. The number six could be significant. June could be significant. It's also because you're making the necessary decisions or you laying down law. It's also bringing an increase to your money, okay? The devil don't like that. Like I said, the devil wants to put you in a false partnership. At this time, you could be single, which is another reason why you could have a lot of people that are, you know, coming towards you because you could just be in your own energy at this time. But the devil wants you to choose the wrong person. Wants you to, wants you to work out of superficiality instead of being your authentic self because if you are acting like a fake or a phony or like someone else or you're not your real self you're going to align with something that is fake and phony and you know that's in that same energy okay or something that's really not for you because you're not working out of your authentic energy yeah it's time that you have courage okay it's also time for you to listen to your intuition all right it's time for you to open your third eye Okay, you have here, you need to take advice from someone older. I felt that too. And trust in God. It's time for you to believe in the divine. It's time. Okay, you could be a highly spiritual, highly spiritual person. Okay, very, very close to the other side. And you know who, okay, deserves your energy and who does not. I'm just being for real. It's time that you get into your bag, Capricorn. It's time to get focused. Okay, let's do okay. someone here. You may need to smoke. You could smoke weed. You could drink because I saw the smoke weed card. Someone could also be smoking and thinking about you. What is Capricorn need to know? Oh my goodness, Capricorn. What's going on, Capricorn? Someone most definitely, you're going to find out that somebody stole from you. I'm just being honest. It could be an earth sign. 
But someone here, if you have a child, you're, you may need to just have a talk with your child. Your, st- your child could be stealing, okay? If your child could have stole something from you, money, or your child could be stealing. I'm just being for real. The page of pentacles, if you have a younger earth sign child, you may need to have a talk with them, okay? This is also letting you know there could be an Aquarius in your energy with this Seven of Swords. But there is going to be some type of bad news that you're going to receive about how somebody has been stealing from you and thinking that they were going to get away with something. They don't get away with this. Okay? It's very ironic that I picked up this deck upside down. It's not supposed to be. But my goodness, that message is definitely for someone. Okay? Why? Look at this, y'all. I am shuffling. My deck is not supposed to be upside down. <laughs> and it's it's not. But there are cards that are upside down. That What is happening? Whoa. That's the message. Because this, oh my goodness. Okay. Spirit is like, listen, Mecca. Okay. You have the nine of swords in the reverse. This is also letting me know. Okay, there there could be some type of change. You got, okay. For someone here, you're definitely going to have to address issues that you could have been pushing under the rug about somebody stealing from you or taking from you, okay? And it seems like once you acknowledge certain situations, okay, it will get you out of a place of being stressed out. It will get you out of a place of being stressed out. But this has to do with some type of broken connection, broken relationship, and it was wrapped around instability. Okay, someone not being patient, someone not being like, oh man, I don't know why my deck had cards that were in the reverse. Like somebody's going through it. There's too many reversals here. It's like, wow, that was so odd. Okay. I didn't want to fix it. I don't mind reading reversals, but I don't like to start off with my deck like half reverse. No. Let spirit go ahead and throw the reversal out there, you know? <laughs> That's how I feel. Oh, my goodness. These cards, the ones that were in the reverse, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is Capricorn, you son? Yeah, trust your intuition, Capricorn. Okay, because you have a lot of people from your past that are returning because you have had this come up, this level up. You could be at this place that's very stable. They're not coming in with the best intentions either. You could also have people that are reaching out during this new moon energy because they see that you're winning the nine of cups. Be very mindful, okay? You have a lot of opportunist energy around you. Cancer energy with that moon, okay? There is knowledge that you're going to be receiving. You're about to receive some type of message or download, okay, with the page of pentacles. There is some type of information that is getting ready to come your way, Capricorn. Okay, and this could have to do with someone that is going through some type of financial issues. Okay, literally, this could be a Taurus, this could be a Virgo, this could be a Capricorn, like yourself. Somebody is losing it all. If they haven't lost it all already, somebody has, is like, they're, they're going through the ringer. The Five of Pentacles is stress energy. That's financial hardship. That's issues. That's not being able to pay your bills. That's feeling left out in the cold from the people around you. From your higher self, from Father God, my goodness. This could be someone that's at a distance, that's going through something. So be mindful of who you are receiving communication from, too. You're definitely going to be getting some type of information or a message. This is like messenger energy. What's the page of principles? This could be from a water sign, a king of cups, Capricorn, or someone dark. This could be someone demonic. This could even be someone that is a Capricorn like yourself. Somebody is obsessed with you. My goodness. Obsessed with your sex, your intimacy, your light, your charisma. What's the King of Cups? Yeah, this is... It. You have a... Okay, so you could definitely be getting ready to come in contact with someone who is very possessive in regards to love very jealous, very, very manipulative in regards to love. This King of Cups individual, God is testing you with the will of fortune, okay? That's just what it is. This is a test. This is also like a turnaround energy. 
Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. What's the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune? What's the King of Cups about? This person, you may not trust this individual and you shouldn't. I'm just being for real. Somebody here is going to, it may even feel like this person's coming in out of nowhere. What I mean by turn around, you may already know this person. This could be like your child's father or your child's mother. Or this could be someone that's going to want to confess some type of love to you. Okay, but they could have like a wandering eye. You literally need to be mindful of whoever this individual is, especially with the devil card showing itself, Capricorn, because somebody here, they like to play on people's emotions, emotional well-being, emotional state. They like to toy with people's emotions, which is very scary, okay? Someone here wants you to be obsessed over them because this is the energy that they carry. Where are we at? 26 minutes. Oh, snap, y'all. Let me hurry up. <laughs> What's the Wheel of Fortune? If God is testing you, okay? Literally, it's like if you, if somebody here is very conniving with the magician, it could be a Virgo, okay? Somebody here knows that you're manifesting forward movement, you're manifesting getting out of Dodge, you're manifesting getting out of like conflicting situations, out of trauma, out of turmoil, and somebody here wants you to question you know, if you're making the right decision, because they know you are. It's bringing in some type of heartbreak energy over a relationship with you, okay? Whoever this person is that's in hardship, whoever this King of Cups is, and it's different for everyone. You have Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius is here, Libra. Where's Capricorn? Capricorn, you celebrating, okay? And you can have a lot of people that are fighting you or wanting to compete with you or wanting to bring you drama or discord, but I see you having fun with the Three of Cups. You could be celebrating, you could be going out, or you were just, you know, staying around positive energy at this time, or this is what you need to do with the Three of Cups. But you need to be mindful of someone that could be wanting to toy with your love, okay? This is already someone that you may not trust. Someone here is also very intimidated or jealous because you have free will or free reign or you're going towards your destiny. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is also good karma. This is a lot of blessings. This is breakthrough energy coming in. This is different doors opening for you that you have manifested also because you are listening to your spiritual team. Okay, you're trusting in the divine guidance that's coming your way. But literally, and you're confident, you're strong, you have strong willpower, you get your strength from Father God. That's what I'm talking about. Leo Taurus energy. Okay, you're also very strong in your faith. That's why you're thriving. Okay, you could be very strong and solidified in your religious beliefs, your faith. You could be, you know, going to a pastor or a preacher or a spiritual guru. where You're getting advice, okay, in regards to cons on how to, you know, become stronger. Like with your confidence, your self-esteem, your willpower, you being able to lay down firm foundation and actually standing on it. Okay, with the Three of Cups being here, I do see here party time is here. Celebrations, reunions is here. Gatherings, good coming together is here. Good energy is here. Okay, and literally, yeah, the Ten of Cups. So I pick up on, this is beautiful energy. Why is the Seven of Pentacles crossing? That's too many cards, spirit. Because you're going to be confused about when somebody comes in to talk to you. Empress. You're meant to be a wife or a husband. Okay, I'm seeing this here too with the Hierophant. Success is yours with the Six of Wands, Capricorn. Okay, but it comes in after you putting an end to player energy. Whoever this is, is a player. They have to be non-committal. They could be promiscuous, they could be in and out, or they're here for a good time and not a long time, okay? And it's time for there to be an ending, the death card, Scorpio energy. Libra is here. You could have Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Leo, highly aspected Capricorn. But it's time for you to put an ending. You could have been connecting to a Scorpio or a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, someone that was very in and out in your life, okay? This could be an entertainer. But then I don't want someone here could have been younger than you or they could have been, you know, very sexy. They could have had sex appeal. 
they could be very flashy with what they have or they like a lot of attention somebody here is an attention seeker as well with the ace with the knight of wands it's something about you knowing your worth that's what will bring you ultimate success empress or emperor okay you could also be in the public eye very famous with the six of wands or you are an inspiration you're gaining praise within your life this is also like public recognition people being able to see you look up to you admire you for something that you are doing okay for the position that you hold with the emperor i'm sorry with the empress i'm definitely speaking could be speaking to empress but you know your worth you're not letting like women manipulate you or use you for money or sex or whatever or to manifest off of your powerful energy something about that's not happening no more but as the empress you really need to be mindful because you have people that could be wanting to you know get you pregnant this could even be someone that you have a child with that feels like they could be in and out of your life or use you for sex because you may have a child with them or you had some type of come up or glow up Okay, and this has to do with your connection to your faith and also your, your spiritual hygiene, who, how you are at this time. Be very mindful of accepting someone who is acting like they are apologetic or that they are healing their inner wounds or that they are very peaceful with themselves when really it's really chaos that they want to bring. The five of wands, be very mindful of connecting to an individual from your past, it seems like. Or someone that just sees that you are going to hear. You have people that are in your business. This could be someone that has like a, they have a child's mother or a child's father and they're not happy with that person. Okay. Which is why they could be wanting to connect back to you, Capricorn. Please understand and please know that God is watching. All days, always. God don't sleep. Okay. Somebody here is only coming towards you because of what you have, the money. Okay, you could even be asking, is it only about the money? God is testing you. I'm really, I'm being for real. Somebody here got involved with a special asshole, or this is they don't listen to they to their intuitions. So well, spirit is looking at this person as dumb, as stupid, as naive. Okay. And they're done for good. So be mindful because you if someone's going to jail or prison, they are. They are. Okay. Right now, you don't need to trust no one. All right, somebody here is only trying to get into your energy so that they can blackmail you for money. They could even be trying to communicate with you telepathically. All right, and it's because you hood, you hold, somebody could be hood, you hold good weight in the spiritual realm. Okay, you also have your, yeah, they just want sex and money from you. That's it. And your royalty. And this person's on trickster BS, which is why they have so much harsh karma coming their way, Capricorn. You could most definitely be a celebrity. Or this could be a celebrity, okay? I'm being for real. Somebody here has karma coming for generations. Their children, their children's children, okay? You could also be be mindful because somebody here, they can live with a lot of people. They may live in a nice area, but they have a lot of roommates and the house is dirty. It's disgusting, okay? There's no hygiene. People aren't washing up. They're not showering. They're not taking baths. It's roaches. It's rats. Okay, it's flies in the house. It's a trap house. People are doing illegal dealings to make money. Okay, and this person is like, you're not leaving them. This could be a cancer that is saying this. And they are lying still. Mm -mm. Anything else that? Mm -mm. It's time for a brand new beginning, Capricorn. Somebody here is going down. Okay, somebody here, my goodness, so spirit is warning you to stay away. That's what I'm picking up on. This is like a warning energy. Mm -mm. 
-mm. No. I mean, it's that Capricorn needs to know. Yeah, you have unexpected money that's coming in. Okay, you most definitely have a Gemini in your energy. You have unexpected money that's coming in. Money bag, a promotion, or a raise. Okay, I'm talking to you. They also don't want you to let the past hold you back. I'm seeing here. Yeah, something could be taking place in the next 24 hours with the letter I, first, middle, or last initial, the letter L. Okay, all blockages have been removed, I'm seeing here. And that's why somebody wants to finger point at you. Okay, yeah, somebody here is about to have a fall because you mean everything to someone and they're realizing the tables are turning. Okay, yeah, this copycat energy, it came out in the reverse. It's not stepping in. The divine is stepping in to help this copycat. This copycat's going to have to deal with something by themselves, okay? Yeah, you will overcome. <laughs> I'm also seeing here, yeah, this person, you dropped somebody that was physically or verbally abusive that was stealing money from you. Your spirit guides have stepped in. Somebody could be born in the wintertime or somebody was doing something around the wintertime. I'm seeing here, yeah, the karmic is jealous of you. You most definitely have a female or a male that was jealous of you, that's envious of you, that was trying to be like you. Oh, my goodness. That was why somebody here was also doing love spells on you, okay, or on an emperor that you were supposed to be with. That's crazy. Okay, you had, yeah, there was an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, that was listening to fake family members, and this person could have put you in a third-party situation. So you could be letting this go with this third-party situation. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah, you also have here in the next 72 hours, you're getting ready to find out how somebody is not single, how they are broke. Okay, you're going to have to hold back from this person. Strength is required, I'm seeing here. The letter B could be significant. And you have here, yeah, because this person wants a surprise pop up on you. And spirit is saying you need to tell this person it's a no. Okay, they do not want you connecting to this person at all. This is someone that will set, give you bad karma or you'll pick up on this person's karma. Yeah, you were never alone. You need to realize this too. Okay, yeah, you have angelic, spiritual, and ancestral protection. 444 is here. All blockages have been removed. Okay, yeah, something could be happening Saturday or Sunday that has to do with something that could have happened two months ago. Okay, please understand you are this emperor. And you're about to be all-inclusive in a relationship, empress. Okay, this could be with someone that starts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Capricorn. Okay, you're going to be all-inclusive, empress or emperor. This could be with a Scorpio. Okay, you could be meeting this person and y'all could be doing something on Friday. Okay, the letter E could be significant. That could be their name. You, this is someone that you're meant to be pregnant by or that's going to get pregnant by you, Capricorn. You also have here, this could be a fire sign. You could have this in your birth chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This is a life change, a major life change. Five, five, five is here, okay? And changes are on the way. Embrace the new and let go of the old. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful energy. I'm also seeing here the letter H is here. Yeah, somebody here was speaking to their mother about you. The letter M, somebody is big mad. So you have somebody that's mad at you. This could be someone that you have children with or someone here had children with somebody else, children with a factor, and now it's like, or they could have been, got with somebody that they had kids with, and now, you know, that they could have to use this person to make you jealous and it didn't work, whatever it is. Somebody here, yeah, they trying to do love spells. So leave that person alone. This was an emperor in the reverse. That wasn't even your person. Somebody's an unfit parent, okay? 
They lack self-discipline. They lack they lack self-control. They lack self-guidance. Somebody here is is on the, the a downfall. Anything else that Capricorn needs to know? Ooh, that's too many cards. Okay, they said take them though. All right, so you have a commitment that's coming in and it looks like you're gonna be getting married, okay? They want you to commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Father God wants you to commit, okay? You also have here, this is the planning phase, okay? Take a step back and plan the necessary steps to move forward so you may turn your goals into a reality. You also have your steady progress. Move with deliberate care as patience and attentive guide, attentiveness guide you to thoughtful achievement. This is beautiful energy, so that's all you have to do is stay the course. And watch how Father God takes you all the way up. Wow. What angels are protecting Capricorn? Okay, you have Horus that's here. So you have clear seeing, clear intention, and all about your perspective at this time. Okay, this is also the number 35. 35 breaking down to an 8. Okay, 53 could also be significant. And let's get advice. What's the advice? The Capricorn advice. Okay. I am always guided. That's what they want you to know. Ooh. You are always being guided and you are allowed to say no. That is okay. Especially when you are being guided, that means your no's are guided too by up above. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.